Thanks for having me. Glad to hear it. All right, Coach wanted me to show you around the facility, and then we can get out to the practice field. Sound good? Let's do it. All right. This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams who demonstrably belong on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and the fans wired in? On, on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is this European Championship group stage confrontation. It's England, and they take on Scotland. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Can he get them in front? In it goes! The opening goal in this contest! Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And the keeper more than equal to it. Let's see about the delivery. Well, it has come to nothing. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway here. Advantage England after the first 45. But plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Moving into the advanced position. They know they need to stop him. But nothing comes of it. Good. Promising move this from England. Not really the high percentage option to try your luck from there. Well, his teammates up. Anderson. Well, that effort was always good. Room to roam on the wing for England. Could play it in. Has a go. He got a good palm on it. Well, that was a good save, and it's kept them in it. But they have to do more going forward. Oh, he's through here. It has to be, surely. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. And the final whistle has sounded. England victorious. Plenty of plus points. And Stuart, your analysis? Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good result for them. 
There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this massive clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity, the delight and dazzle, no matter who you support. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson and getting ready to bring you this European Championship group stage game. It's Italy against England. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stage if they want to progress further in the tournament. It should be tense, Derek. It's still alive. Not looking confident in possession with options available. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. He just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. And the ball moving again. And he's broken free. Oh, superb save. Massive credit to the keeper. Well, he's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. Played over. The clearance wasn't decisive. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So they get the ball rolling once more, and it's advantage England after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. Over the touchline for a throw in. Chances on. Well, that looked to me like excessive force. What was the referee's reading of it? And the referee's verdict, excessive force, and off he goes. Well, he had to go for that. That was a very dangerous challenge. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. A free kick, and the keeper took it cleanly. Was the final whistle. Very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Now it is for real. The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu is this European Championship quarter-final. It's England. Can they slot it home? What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Oh, moving it nicely. He must finish, and there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player.
Uh, back under. Incisive pass and just has to remain calm. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And Saka couldn't hit this any better. What a great finish this is. So back underway with the lead. Stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Foden. Long way out. Just narrowly off target. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both takes it on. Couldn't put it away, and they're still trailing by a couple of goals. Well, you certainly can't fault their effort, but they just can't get back into this game, can they? Is all the final whistle has sounded, and that makes it official. They're through to the next round. Yes, and thoroughly deserved, you have to say. Thought they controlled large parts of the game, they created enough chances, and if they can continue to replicate performances like this, they have to fancy their chances going forward. Only two sides remain in contention to win silverware. Who's it going to be on this colossal occasion? There is no margin for error. Occasion that is never to be taken for granted. One to be sabred from start to finish, knowing just how significant it is on the international football calendar. I'm Derek Ray, and alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff time in the European Championship final. It's Italy against England. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away. Real chance. Oh, yes! First to score in this final. And it could be highly significant. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. So, underway again here. 1 0 the score. Locatelli. Oh, they have it again. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Locatelli. Barella has it. And England have it back now. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Mancini. Good bit of closing down. And he might be through here. And the goal was staring him in the face, but he couldn't take advantage of the chance. Well, that would have extended their lead. What a golden opportunity that was. Attacking possibilities for England. And Bellingham. Ball back with Italy now. Phil Foden now. And playing it through. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Locatelli. And now with Di Lorenzo. How about the cross? Cutting it back. 
My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And taken short. Locatelli. Di Lorenzo. It should be. Marvellous anticipation. Well, he was dreaming of scoring, but ruled offside. Well, it all happened very quickly, so I wouldn't criticise him too much. At least he was in there. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Oh, might be. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Away they go again. Second half underway, and it's very much advantage England. Will we see more dazzling football from them in this second half? Opportunity! Surely! Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick! A special moment for him! Well, we can take another look now. It's wonderful interplay between the two of them to start the move. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And so the action continues with England very much bossing this game. Locatelli. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And played in. No two ways about it. A wild, wild attempt. Well, it's so hard to get this right, and he just couldn't adjust his body quickly enough. Bellingham now with Alexander-Arnold and the defensive intervention there well a really good run and England with acres of space out wide Giving them a different option by moving in field. Sure. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Davide Fratesi. Barella. Chance, maybe. And the danger cleared. Fratesi. On the ball, Bastoni. Davide Fratesi. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Immobile. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, they survived the attack. Bukayo Saka. Tomori. Well, you might say it's the ideal way to see out a game when you can pass like this. Promising looking ball. And the right place to cut out the pass. Fratesi. Locatelli with it.
And there it is, the final whistle. Cup success is theirs, and they've done it on merit. Look at these scenes. Well, on the evidence of the game as well, they deserve it. They were excellent throughout. What a good performance that was. And you can see, can't you, what it means to every single one of them. Yeah, they've been a real team today. Really good spirit and a great performance. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grand...